Now, I, again, we're trying to understand what's up with poor Kim. I'm getting increasingly scared for her. It, was she sober when you were on the show with her? Kim struggled um, in season one for sure. And we all went through so much together, divorces and, and then Kim going through rehab. But then by season three, she was doing beautifully. And I really had all the faith in the world that it was going to work for her. And her support system with Kyle and Kathy and the kids is really unbelievable. And I, I just know that she can pull through this. Um, it's heartbreaking to see that this happened at her daughter's wedding. You know what, Taylor? One, one of my guts, in addition to being scared for her, is that, you know, it's amazing to me how often addicts get taken down by physicians. They get just given the wrong medication or they too much medicine or addictive medications. And, and I get the real feeling, I, I'm worried that that's what's going on here. You may or may not be able to comment, but I'm just wondering if it's, if it's that's why it keeps, she keeps spilling into trouble. Well, as everyone knows, being on reality TV is pretty anxiety provoking. And as was my situation, trying to hide something from the cameras while you're filming reality TV is even more anxiety provoking. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if someone was trying to help her out with with some anxiety medication. I'm not aware of that, but okay. I think we know that, that'd be bad. How that that's, that, that goes bad. That anxiety medicine means things like Xanax or sleep medication. That will bring, that's a relapse. That's a relapse, that's everybody. Right. Let's get a question from the audience. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Dr. Drew. Um, with all due respect, I know you have some experience with reality shows with, um, mm -hmm. you know, an, an addiction. So my question is, don't you think this directly contributes to the stress of being on well, a reality show? That's what Taylor is suggesting. But, but people are, uh, Taylor, would you agree that she does this with willful intent. I mean, it's not as though she, if they asked her to get off the show, would she leave the show? You know what I mean? People won't leave these shows even though they're causing them distress. You yeah. know, I don't know. And I also know the pressure of, of Monty being sick has been really weighing on Kim's heart. And, and so she does have a lot of emotional things going on in her life. Judy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that the, She's an adult. She's decided to stay on the show. Yeah, it's stressful. But should she leave? And I, I don't think she would. No, I think yeah. that there's a lot of motivations for her to stay on the show. Yeah. And then you're right. There are some problems with that, obviously, because can she really focus on her treatment and getting better when she knows that the cameras are watching her and she has to present a certain front to the audience? I think that that can be a conflicting issue, right? And if she's really in the throes of her addiction and she didn't get on the show to profile her addiction, right. there are some it's real problems 